Who's gonna win the All Valley Tournament? Okay, I I I have a suggestion. Hear me out, everybody. Hawk. I want Hawk to win because Miguel has already won, and I don't think he needs to win again. I think they should give that to um Hawk. If they want the good guys to win, I give it to Hawk. I think Hawk would be like the best option. I think he beats Robbie by um by just out. I, I think it'll be a barely does, but he can beat him. Cause I think Robbie I think Robbie would have would be the you know the big the big boss one because he's the only one that can fight evenly with Miguel like that. So I don't know. I'm giving it to Hawk on this. But I could be wrong. Cobra Kai has set up a major showdown at the All Valley Tournament in Season 4. But which characters have the best chance of taking home the title? Today we are going to be predicting who could win Season 4's All Valley Tournament and who won't. Cobra Kai has set up a major showdown at Season 4's All Valley Tournament, leaving one question hanging in the air. Who will bring home the trophy? Most of the recent narrative focus has been on defeating Kreis in his dojo. But regardless of what happens between the adult characters, one student will inevitably rise to the top. With so much talent spread among the cast by the end of Season 3, there are a lot of characters who could have a shot at the title. The All Valley Tournament that ended Season 1 was an exciting climax, but it also didn't have much in the way of competition. The Cobra Kai Dojo was still new, with Miguel, Hawk, and Aisha as its three best prospects. The latter two of those three got knocked out before the finals, and the actual showdown between Robbie and Miguel had enough questionable moves and pre-existing injuries to make the whole thing feel, at the very least, unfinished. Going into Season 4, the show's landscape has changed... I'll say this, for the first fight that, that uh, Robbie and Miguel had, I was happy that Miguel won because I thought they were going to give it to Robbie. I was happy that they gave it to Miguel. The second time they gave it to Robbie, well, yeah, they gave, they gave that to Robbie. So the third one, I think it probably will go to Robbie again. And the only reason I say it's going to go to Robbie again is because of, like you just say, pre-existing injuries. My man was in the hospital and at the end of season three was not fully ready to even take on a bully that he previously beat in the first season. So I don't think he beats him. I think he, he has like a PTSD type moment and he loses the fight. And it's supposed to, I think it'll be like early too. I think it'll be like episode one type stuff like or maybe episode two like real early so they can redeem him later down the line if they have a fourth fight cool but um at this particular moment i think that they would give it to robbie which i don't which if they do give it to robbie i don't think we should give them because all it does is even it out if miguel goes at him again and beats him it just evens the score a bit unless um robbie becomes good and they're able to just have fun and just everybody's good at the end then yeah but no i really don't want that because i'm not gonna lie robbie's character of going back and forth from good well i'm sorry from bad to good but then overarching going back to bad wanting to be good but sticking with the bad i think um for it, I think the best thing for him would be to win. Even even it makes the most sense for Robbie to win the All Valley Tournament because I don't see I don't see Tyler. I don't see no one else really win. I don't see even Tori winning the thing. I see uh, Robbie winning in particularly. I see Tori being like a runner up to Sam. Because I think, uh, what's the name's over-aggressive style will probably get her either disqualified in the fight or she would lose the fight because of being the over-aggressor. Um, because I, I think Sam's defensive will outweigh, um, Tori's offensive. I think that's how the all value. I think the all value is going to settle a lot of different things, but bring up one. It depends. Also, it depends because if it happens early, like 
you know, it could have like seven episodes or it could have like 12 episodes. If if it like happens like episode one, we're immediately jumping into it, then yeah, they're losing. For sure. Well, Miguel's losing. Quite a bit. A lot more students have entered the fray, and the best of the bunch have all gotten much better. The story itself has also introduced higher stakes and greater tension, giving each character even more motivation to assert themselves as number one. Here are all the characters with a clear chance of winning Season 4's All-Valley Tournament, and what it would mean for the story if they did. Miguel needs to defend his title. As the reigning champ and the primary team protagonist of the show, Miguel is a clear favorite to bring home the gold. Because of being a main character, yes. But storyline-wise, no, I don't see him doing it. In season 4, he's one of the series' best fighters, and he'll now get the chance to train in Miyagi-Do, as well as Johnny's Cobra mm. Kai. That combination could make Miguel even stronger, balancing his offensive capabilities with the best defense there is. All in all, Miguel is a clear favorite. That is, he would be if it weren't for his hospitalization and near paralysis. Even see? after major progress and an impressive show of strength during the finale's house brawl, Miguel is still a far cry from his former self at the end of season three. Can he get back to 100% with the help of Johnny? I think he will, but it probably won't be until late. I don't think he just, he's um, fully recovered. Like I said, I think PTSD will probably strike uh, Miguel the most. I, I don't see him winning. I don't. Daniel? Absolutely. And if he does, it will be fantastic redemption arc. Miguel has more to prove than just his skill this time. He has to show that he can win the right way. Robbie wants revenge. Mirroring and foiling Miguel. And this is why I give it to Robbie. I see Robbie winning the fight. I see, I'm seeing, not Robbie winning the fight, the tournament. I can see him winning the tournament. Can I see Tori? Not really, but I guess it'd be nice if they do, I guess. But the same, besides the same two obvious who could win... I think I would give it to Hawk because I think Hawk can beat Robbie at his best. I think um, Hawk would have to be past his best, to be honest. He'd be on a totally different level. And I think because the, the, the thinking in two different ways, Hawk makes it to the finals or Miguel makes it to the finals. If Miguel makes it to the finals, I don't think he's going to be 100% to be able to go against Robbie. And I think he loses that. Um, I think if he goes against Hawk, it's a back and forth, but I think Robbie will still win at the end of it, even though I want him to win, but I think Robbie still takes home the victory. It's a heavy chance Robbie's definitely winning this. Definitely heavy chance. It's heavier than it normally would be. Robbie Keane is another strong bet to win the All Valley Tournament. Robbie certainly had a roller coaster of an arc so far, going from small time criminal to Miyagi Do prodigy, back down to almost murderer, and now becoming one of Kreese's two star pupils. He certainly has the skills to win at the highest level, but that's not the only asset in his corner. Robbie is fiercely motivated by the end of season three to enact vengeance on several people in his life. Miguel, for defeating him in the last tournament and getting back with Sam, Daniel, for turning him into the police and, in Robbie's mind, betraying him, and Johnny, for letting him down time and time again and prioritizing Miguel's needs over his. That's a lot of anger for Kreese to channel into his brutal Cobra Kai style. If Robbie stays on the dark side through the tournament, it could be enough to send him over the top. If he finds redemption before the All Valley, He's still good enough to go toe to toe with the best of the competition. Samantha Larusso has the most experience, though she she does have the best experience. But I don't think they're giving her the win. I think she'll stay like away from that because because how the tournament works is is team versus team. It's not soloing. You know, it'd be different if they were all soloing. Then in that case, I would say her because she has the most experience out of all the other students. Unless they bring another student out of nowhere. Unless they give us another student completely out of nowhere. Then in that case, I guess. But other than that, no. I give it to either it's going to be a Hawk Miguel. I guess we could throw Tori in there. Um, Robbie's. But it's heavily going to be Robbie. I think Robbie's going to go. He's one of the series' primary characters and the daughter of the Karate Kid. Sam hasn't actually fought all that much in the show so far. 
She's battled Tori twice and engaged in a couple brawls with Cobra Kai, but that's mostly it. Her season 3 arc is largely about fear, something she finally overcomes to face her Tori. Now that she's reconnected with her fighting spirit, it's time to see just how far she can go. The main thing Sam has on her side when compared to the other students is experience. Unlike the rest... Okay, okay, hold on, Oreo. I'm making a video, Daddy making video. I want to say one thing real quick. I like one thing I like about um Cobra Kai was how they kind of not only when they gave every character what they gave them, but people won in things that kind of made a lot of sense in the story that they created. It's not just a oh, I guess no, it, no, it really makes sense. Miguel started before Hawk. He's better than Hawk because of. Let's be real, main character status, obviously. Because if Hawk was the main character, then pretty sure Miguel would have been like somewhere, like his rival, his big rival, that they would probably never make it clear who's the better one, but they would make it obvious that he's better, but somehow they always even it out. But that's not what I'm saying. Um, what I liked about Sam and Tori's thing, the only thing I really liked about it was that Sam was, yes, defensive fighter, good, of course, but she's never been into an actual fight with, like, her life on the line type stuff. And it, it was like, it makes so much sense why Tori would put fear in her because she's never fought someone like this. Like, she's never had to really use her karate like that. So it makes sense. And for Robbie to be very good on the defense but kind of good on offense, but – for Miguel to be the overarching winner because let's be real, he's playing with more aggression. Robbie's trying to be calm and do something that he's not even really comfortable with that he's still working on compared to someone that's not fully mastered it, but have made it his own. Hawk on the other end, I get it because of who he is and everything that he has to lose most fights, but let's be real. In his, in in my mind, Hawk should have won a lot of fight a lot more fights which he has won a lot of fights but it's just how do i put it? how do i put this without trying to sound like an idiot what i like about hawk was when it came to brawling you can tell how much he enjoyed it and how much fun he had with it and we're about to go i think hawk is really good i think hawk can be a runner-up which it sucks to say but yeah sadly that'd probably be the best thing for him and the thing of the show that we need a spinoff for him to really have his own and stuff like that. But I think he becomes a runner up close to winning, but no. Who all started learning karate in high school. Sam started training when she was just a child. She has a firm foundation in Miyagi-Do that will only be accented by Johnny's more aggressive style. At her best, she's capable of taking down any other fighter her age, and she could easily bring the All Valley title back to the LaRusso family. Tori has something to prove. Like Miguel, Sam has... I think Tori's chances of winning is actually a tad bit higher than, um, what's the names? And the only reason I say it is better than Sam's and the only reason I give it this is because throughout the entire season, they positioned her as the better fighter. Well, the more aggressive fighter, not much the better one, but she's more experienced in actual fights. Like, she can handle herself in actual fight compared to, I know how to fight, I just never fought someone who was aggressive as you. Like, that's how Sam is. So, do I see Tori, if she does beat Sam it is a shocker yes but it I wouldn't be mad at it it wouldn't be one of those things that's like okay because like I said if it starts early season then okay she's gonna get retribution she's gonna you know beat her next time they meet up or whatever and however they move the characters however they move the characters um I prefer them to settle things instead of just you know settle out the scores and everything before everyone try to be all we're all friends now crease your evil and like type stuff i don't kind of know nah i don't want that the foil and her name is tori nichols sam and tori's rivalry has been one of the main stories of the last two seasons and their season three finale duel was interrupted before a clear winner could be decided the two obviously still have unfinished business and there's a good chance it could be settled at season four s all valley tournament Tori has proven she's a fierce fighter. She's quickly risen up as one of Kreese's best students, only potentially matched by Robbie. Tori fights with fire unlike any other character on the show, and that fire comes from a life of struggle and incredibly difficult circumstances. It seems unlikely that Tori will be 
crowned winner of anything while adhering so strictly to Kreese's toxic dogma, but she could easily have a redemption arc of her own in season 4. With or without Cobra Kai, Tori's sheer talent and need to prove her strength are certainly enough to put her in contention for the title. Hawk needs to redeem himself. Hawk's in one of the more interesting. And this is why I want Hawk to win. Not just because of he has to redeem himself, but let's be real. I, I think we all, as a fan base, when it comes to Cobra Kai, everything like that, I would love for this sucker to win. I would love for him to win the tournament and take it home because of Miguel's injury, to be honest, because I don't see Miguel winning this because of his he's still injured. I don't think he's at 100%. If they do make him at 100%, I, of course, I think he wins it. I think he beats Robbie, but I think it's be. I think Robbie loses the fight by because I'm trying to think about this in a rational way, not just what I want. Obviously, um, I think Robbie could beat Miguel because of him learning the defense of the offensive. Yes, Miguel beat him because he knew more offensive to destroy his defense because he, and plus he was already injured from what Hawk did to him. So it was like, okay, so then when I had the little fight at the school, it was clear that once again, he was going to lose that fight. He was going to, but the only reason he even had the upper hand was because Miguel had a moment of hesitation. He had a moment of, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to end this. And then what's the name? Let his inner rage come out, and he did that. So, and they didn't have another fight in the third season, so there was nothing really there. Um, if they are at 100, I give it to Robbie only because if the fight, if the tournament happens early, if the tournament happens at the end, I don't think, I think Miguel beats him, but I think it's by barely. It's like by maybe one minor point difference. He probably does like some type of move that's a reminiscent of from the past to present. It's like a move that's kind of sort of was there, but it wasn't that big of a thing. It'll probably be like somebody had to bring it up, be like, oh, this happened in the first Karate Kid or the second Karate Kid or the third one or the Jada Smith one. <laughs> it's like, oh, like some stuff like that would go down and everybody would be like, oh, that's crazy. I didn't even remember that type stuff. But yeah, that's, that's how I feel about it. I would love Hulk to win, but who cares about my feelings? Arcs over Cobra Kai's first three seasons. He went from one of the most bullied, laughed at kids in school to one of the cool kids in a matter of months, rose up to become Cobra Kai's second best fighter, and eventually succumbed to the appeal of power and became a bully himself. Then, in the season three finale, something snaps. Seeing his former best friend Dimitri being beaten by the bullies who used to torment them both, Hawk rejects what Cobra Kai has made him and rejoins the good guys. Hawk turning on Kreese is one of the season's most powerful moments, but he'll need to do a lot more to properly redeem himself. That means mending relationships with the people he turned on, and it also means proving he now fights with honor. Given his dirty moves on Robbie in the last All Valley, the upcoming tournament could be a perfect venue for Hawk to show how much he's grown. He's an excellent fighter with great instincts. Huh. Well, that was just my thoughts on season four and who could win. That was it. Look, Cobra Kai, we can talk more about it sometime.